we are getting, I'm not going to give you an exact number. I'm going to tell you we are, we are getting close to 20. Yeah. It would be completely irresponsible in high pressure situations, potentially with terrorists. Now, and, and sometimes there's good reason for control, for discipline and other things. So um, on October 7th, the same day that Hamas attacked Israel, these charges were leveled against Mike Bickle. I was stunned, as I've already said. Sexting, adultery, any sexual morality, first thing that anything, in every situation, it's the same thing. Bathsheba. Bathsheba, we have a Bathsheba. It can't be the King David's fault. So we confront Bathsheba. We question the Bathsheba's. We look at these support your local food bank, Drug and Alcohol Center. Thank you to my friends who are liking my videos. We're going to do a, this is a letter, this open letter regarding Mike Bickle and his prophecy weapons against young women, minors. Right? So this is one of my sisters. We're one family in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. This is a big letter. So I'm going to read this out loud. But this is the words of my sister, Tammy Wood's mom, right? So many people have been hurting over this horrendous sex crisis at IHOP, total mismanagement, fiasco, Eric the crisis manager, the current ELT, the misdirection, the Lathorpe group. You know, this it's is a sham investigation. And, um, you know, people that love Mike Bickle Right? People that love Mike Bickle are calling him to repentance. That's what everybody wants. Right? Mike Bickle, there's people all over the world hurting right now from his actions. His prophecy weapons are still posted on Instagram. So the accusation, the black horse, betrayal, he uses his, his pulpit as a weapon against the global church because people were confronting him. Our greatest danger is not being betrayed by a trusted friend or family member who got offended somewhere because most betrayal comes out of offense. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 10, Jesus said, they will be offended and will betray. Most betrayal comes out of offense. Offense is when the heart, you have mistreated me, you have not given me what is, is I deserve. He uses his, his pulpit as a weapon against the global church because people were confronting him regarding the minors, right? So this is a total disaster fiasco. I have been covering this and keeping everyone in prayer on my channel, including the Bickle family, because, you know, there's so many people hurting over this. There's all the, all the sisters and the brothers, right? So let's read this, and then uh, we're going to do an update. Mike, you like to twist Matthew 18. You, this is the mom, all right? The mom speaking out. Using it as a loophole to commit the same offenses over and over again. But let's look at what Jesus said in Matthew 17, 3. Be on guard. If your brother sins, rebuke him. If he repents, forgive him. Let's look at the Greek word repent. Really means the word Jesus is metanoiu. It means to repent with regard accompanying by true change of heart. Most importantly, it is distinguished from the Greek word of regret, which is, oh boy, and means to regret because of consequence of one action. So there's a worldly sorrow for, there's a, there's a worldly sorrow of getting caught all right, and then there's a godly sorrow that leads to repentance. I'm, you know, Mike might be sorry that he got caught or he's getting called out, but all of his prophecy weapons are still posted. Since we have committed the same sin over and over again, and somewhere between allegedly 15 and 20 documented women, now, so the the advocate group. A lot more Jane Doe's than anybody knows about that How we know about. How many do you think? Obviously, they haven't even all came forward, but the ones that have came forward, just to give everybody like an idea, how many estimate can you say? I. How about I say this? We have this massive, massive spreadsheet. Um, 
people that have come to us with stories, people that need to be interviewed by a third party. I'm talking it's pages and pages and pages and pages. I have, I would say that on there, if we put together known Jane Doe's that have self-identified, I am a Jane Doe, known stories that we know they're a Jane Doe, but they, they may not ever want to self-identify, but for reasons we do know that they are. Women that have come to us that are self-identifying with verified stories that they were in the grooming stages and yeah so if we put all of that together and 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 when i say this i want you to know i don't i absolutely believe there's way more than this we are getting i'm not going to give you an exact number i'm going to tell you we are we are getting close to 20. yeah so allegedly according to zion this is the advocate group if you include the women being groomed by Mike Bickle, we're right around 20. Your behavior clearly indicates, and it's just not her, all the advocates had the same thing. I might as well play that video. Safety for other women. Exactly. That is her goal. When she realized that it was not just her, right. that she was not just Mike's one dirty little secret, mm -hmm that there were others, mm -hmm. that is what compelled her. And I think that's so noble. Yes. She's sacrificed her whole life and reputation now yes. in order to protect many other women. A yes. hundred times she heard him say that Diane was gonna die, they were gonna be married, etc. Well, Michael Sullivan said, I've, I've heard that before from another woman. And so uh, I jumped on a call with her, Dwayne did as well. This lady said in 1983, uh, he began to immediately pursue me in a relationship that uh, that was the phrase he used. So yeah, I heard that straight from her mouth. So yeah, I heard that straight from her mouth. Another person that we've all known for many, many years, a very credible person. A credible woman actually came forward to my wife and I at the beginning of August and told us a story and I can't unhear that story. But as Dwayne said early on, once you hear these stories, you can't unhear them. And again, it was just another layer of spiritual, I don't even know what you call that, spiritual manipulation, prophetic manipulation, lying, coercing, it's sick is what it is. It's been, it's been said to several people. That specific phrase was used by multiple people. Or we heard that from multiple people that that phrase was used in a manipulative way towards a woman. And, and, and a few others who said they were being groomed. They're oh. convinced they're being groomed. Oh, there, there would be, I would, I would put in the category, a lot would say that they had a grooming type, a being groomed relationship with Mike at different levels and kind of different levels, you know, in the journey. So there's that video. So they're saying there's lots of women, all right? And between, behind all the women are all the families and the husbands and the children's and the grandmas. So this has hurt everybody. Everybody's hurting over this. And Mike Bickle, the worst possible action he could ever do is just go silent, leave all his weapon, prophecy weapons posted. All right. The fact that some of these women were underage falls into the Matthew 18 category stating, whoever causes one of the, okay. Whoever causes one of the little ones who believe in me to stumble is better for him that a heavy millstone be hung around his neck and that he be drowned in the depths of the sea. Woe to the world because of its stumbling blocks, for it is in inedible that stumbling blocks come, but woe to the man through whom the stumbling block comes. We're going to get to that in this video as well regarding the King David special anointing. I've been told that in response to the recent Jane Doe situation, you replied, it's just hind it's just hide out. I'll just hide. I'll just hide out in my bat basement for two or three, four years, and then I'll be back to ministry. 
just for everybody knows, Rick Joyner wants him back right away. This year, just like a month ago, said that. But if you haven't heard, but we believe in restoring people. We believe in Galatians 6, 1, it says, if man's caught in any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore them. We're committed to that. I think you're going to be seeing and hearing from Mike again. And this young guy named Mike Bickle was there. And Mike's had a bunch of troubles lately, but... You're going to see Mike Bickle back in the ministry in the position of power of the King David. We'll get to that in a second. You have no idea the depth... You have no idea the depth of pain you have inflicted, not just on the primary Jane Doe, but their husbands, who for years sensed, but had no understanding of the secret, sinister control you held over their wives, and to that the many friends who watched with confusion and broken hearts as long, lifelong friendships slipped away. And then there are hundreds of families who fought back only to be rebuked by their brainwashed loved ones and to watch their family become fractured for decades. Not, not let's forget, let's not forget the many eyehoppers who dared to approach you in the biblical example of Matthew 18. Those hundreds who are shunned, expelled by their families threatening and even lost their jobs because of the lies you perpetrated. That covers enough of the history since Tammy Woods has the strength. God bless Tammy Woods and her family. And bravery to step forward and call you not a godly man as you instructed her to do, but a liar and a... Where are my gloves? <laughs> it's cold out, eh? Seducer of 14-year-olds. Today is a new day, according to Matthew 18, you are a heathen, publican, heathen publican. I don't know what that is. Heathen publican. Heathen publican. A heathen publican. Heathen publican. Is that like a Republican? A heathen publican. That must be like an American slang. Here in Canada we have... Um, don't talk about it, eh? A heathen publican. All right, that's all I have to say to you, Mike. Your lies that have your lies that have divided our family for 13 years has damaged Tammy's marriage for over 30 years. Have no more power than truth. The truth has set us free. Praise the Lord. I know that one. That's John 8. All right, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Praise the Lord. A few words to the Jane Doe's and the IHOP survivors. The door has finally opened for all Jane Doe's and past IHOP victims to set up and tell all their stories. I understand it would be painful for you to recall the horror of the past. My family has suffered the result of Mike's narcissistic control for 30, 40 years. Also coming forward to be frightened for some of you have experienced threats that's where it is. We're going to get to that, right? The online th harassment, threats, misinformation out of Charisma magazine that they're out for donations and assets. A lot of, a lot of assets, a lot of donations. You got to wonder the advocates' motives behind this dastardly takeover. We're going to get to that in a second. Of the taking over, trying to take over King David's throne because they're Absalom's. The spirit of Absalom and the accusers. All right. All right, threats against your family. If you are afraid, remember, God did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Second Timothy 1, 7. 
Take the hand of Jesus and walk through this with you one last time. If you abide in my word, then you are truly my disciples of mine. Oh, there it is there, John 8. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. John 8, 31. Free, healed, all of the abuse, heartache, lies, and broken relations of the past. You are not alone. Jane Doe's advocates, families, you're not alone, all right? We're one family in Christ Jesus. I'm Brother John. <laughs> I'm the Canadian, eh? And I love you. All right? There's freedom. You'll get through this. You'll be stronger. All right? You will not, you're not alone, Jane Doe's, before you have given you a platform to stand on, just like those individuals. Tammy Woods found the strength to speak out and stop Mike Bickle from hurting other women. Her bravery is causing more Jane Doe's to step forward, giving their names and their stories. Together we can stop this narcissistic predator. All right, so recap on the disaster fiasco leadership of IHOP KC. So, first of all, Eric Voles, the crisis creator, Eric Voles, you know, I've been reflecting about what exactly happened. If you remember back on the Stephen Strang program, there was a man named Kirk Fuller. Now, of course, Kirk Fuller went on there right after he said the advocates, he's negotiated, right? If, you're, if you don't follow this, Kirk Fuller negotiated with foreign adversaries. So potentially the hardest governments in the world. High level meetings, military, he's a, he's a general. In my role as a general officer in the U.S. military, I've negotiated with our nation's enemies, with foreign officials at the highest levels of adversarial governments, and even with my own government up to the cabinet level. My rules for these negotiations have always been the same. I work with truth and facts. Rumors and unsubstantiated claims have no place in these dealings. That is the way I've always operated and still do. The existence of these advocate group videos confirms to me that four members of the advocate group have looked me in the eye and lied to me. This behavior completely undermines the trust and integrity that are fundamental to any honest discussion. I cannot and will not work with or concede to the demands of people who do not tell the truth. To do so would compromise my own principles and our organizational sovereignty. It would be completely irresponsible. He's negotiated, right? If, you're, if you don't follow this, Kirk Fuller negotiated with foreign adversaries, so potentially the hardest governments in the world. High-level meetings, military, he's a, he's a general. In high-pressure situations, potentially with terrorists. Now, in order for him to continue to talking with the advocates, advocating for the women, it would have compromised his, I forget exactly the word term, but it was, it was impossible. Shut her down. So they cut off the negotiations. Naming dates, because all the armchair investigators are in line are going to be picking all this apart. <clears throat> there was a mockery, there's been doxing, and there's been half-truths. So they cut off the negotiations. At the same time, Eric Foles is on social media, on X, Twitter, doxing the 50-page document. They had the Fearless Five with... Um, Misty Edwards and the rest of the women saying the advocates were being mean to them. On the same hand, you had Charisma Magazine and Stephen Strang. And, and sometimes there's good reason for control, for discipline and other things. So um, on October 7th, the same day that Hamas attacked Israel, these charges were leveled against Mike Bickle. I was stunned, as I've already said. And uh, I had had Mike on my podcast just a month or two before when he was calling people to pray for Israel. My, if I remember correctly... Uh Stephen Strang had this, this concept. He figured this one out that 
The October 7th Hamas terrorists, this, the advocates used by Satan with the spirit of Absalom and because King David, the King David anointing of Mike Tickle, that Satan used the advocate group advocating for the women to attack the King David IHOP KC Mike Bickle on the same day as Hamas terrorists. And of course, you can't negotiate with terrorists. Hello. That's all right. That's all right. Have a great day. <laughs> Sorry. It's kind of like Darth Vader. Darth Vader, in like, is Darth, you know, the, you know, if it wasn't so ludicrous, Stephen Strang and the King David anointing with the, you know, here in Canada, we have a network of false internet prophets resharing Todd Bentley videos, or resharing Todd Bentley prophecies. They just went on to social media this week. Here's another one, the King David's, I'm trying to give you some theology behind this. It's a, it's a whole entire, the disciples of, of Mike Bickle, Bob Jones, Paul Kane, and um, another instrument is... Um, now, my precious brother, I know this is a tape also. Now, don't get excited. Let me say this with godly love. The hours approach where I can't hold still on these things no more. Too close yeah. to the coming, Trinitarianism is of the devil. I say that, thus saith the Lord. Amen. Who's the guy that said that, thus saith the Lord, the Holy Spirit, Trinitarians of Satan? William Brannan. All right, so the William Brannan followers, they've accepted the, their disciples are William Brannan, Bob Jones, Paul Kane, Todd Bentley, Mike Bickle is all the same network. They're, this is actually the Canadian house of prayer type thing, the same logos and everything. Anyways, they're going on and on about how this special anointed King David, and in relation to Todd Bentley, they're resharing Todd Bentley prophecies right now, to this day, this year, defending it, saying that the gifting and the calling is, what, is without repentance. You'll find that, I believe it's Romans 11, talking about the nation of Israel. But... It's in, I find it interesting when I study this religious movement of the King Davids, the special anointing ones that fly to heaven. When I study it, whenever there is a, they call it a failing, moral failing. In reality, they're targeting people with prophecy weapons to get in bed with them. Anyways, regardless of the situation, homosexuality, sexting, adultery, any sexual morality, first thing that the, anything... In every situation, it's the same thing. Bathsheba. Bathsheba. We have a Bathsheba. It can't be the King David's fault. So we confront Bathsheba. We question the Bathshebas. Because, of course, touch not the Lord's anointed, judge not the Lord's anointed, and thought not the Lord's anointed. Don't think about it. Don't judge it. And don't touch it. He's the King David's special anointed. That's what's ingrained. And, of course, if, you, if you're... If you're in the King David, touch not the Lord anointed, judge not, judge not the Lord's anointed, and thought not the Lord's anointed, you'll probably know the scripture, the accuser of the brethren. All right? Religious Pharisee. Potentially, you, you, you don't ever question anything, or else you potentially might have demons, and you're partnering with Satan. It's exactly what Stephen Strang did with equating the Hamas terrorists, the Hamas terrorists, by the way, it wasn't even on the same day, but inside of this little bubble of theology of the King David, touch not the Lord's anointed, judge not the Lord's anointed, or thought not the Lord's anointed, according to the King David's, they have to figure out this spiritual paradigm. So in order to take down IHOP and the King David, Satan not only attacked Israel with Hamas, and by the way, you know, the atrocities, it, it is, you would have to be sitting in America in a comfy office drinking fancy coffees to even come to that conclusion. People are dying right now in this war. The atrocities of Hamas war, we don't take lightly on my channel. 
people are hurting right now. People are being, people are dying all over the world in these wars. We're praying for peace in the Middle East on my channel. To equate the Hamas terrorist attacks to advocate, advocates advocating for victims, you know, and that's where it's at. That's the King David theology. If you made it this far, like the video, like the, like the video. Thank you to my friends sharing my videos. And thank you for my friends praying for me and my ministry outreach. It's been a very difficult week this week. And uh, sadly, I had a 22-year-old friend of mine overdose and die in his tent. So we're just doing a memorial right now. This is a young man that overdosed yesterday, friend of mine. So I'm doing a memorial. I'm going to pick up some donuts, some coffee. We got candles and some flowers. And this is for his parents. So if you can keep me in prayer. And um, he was loved by everybody. It has rocked our community. And that's it. Thank you. 22 year old friend of mine overdosed and died in his tent. I've been advocating for with the family all morning. Well, all week, I, I went out for the uh, for coffee with his brother on Monday. And this morning, I was with his girlfriend. She showed me the ring that he had given her. He's only 22-year-old, 20-year-old young man, very handsome young man, very talented, fentanyl poisoning. She showed me the ring that he had given her just last week. She was bawling her eyes out. So I have been in advocacy between this young lady and his brothers and his sisters and um, I have been very busy this week so that's it so thank you for people that are supporting praying and encouraging me in my ministry I'll reach during Canada's national opiate crisis uh, thank you for your prayers <laughs> you know it's not always easy and it takes an emotional toll on me as well um, I lost nine last year and I have printed five pictures this year of people that have died and um, it's hard for me every time it happens but God gives grace to the humble right? and um, gives us strength and power and just like Tammy Wood's letter in Timothy 1 7 for God did not give us a spirit of fear but of love power and self-control or a sound mind so thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe I'll hopefully be doing another update video soon so we'll bless you, keep you strong in the faith, and remember, Brother John loves you.